Hey out there YouTube, it's Double D with Tournage Dubois. Today we are going to be working... Where'd my lathe go? What happened? Oh, that's right. This week, it's a shop upgrade. Let's show you what's going on. Alright, today is a new day at Tournage Dubois. We got a new lathe. That's right, this past weekend uh, I found a good deal on this jet lathe. Uh, off of Craigslist, so I had the opportunity to go meet a new wood turning friend. Um, he had the lathe all still set up because he got an upgrade to a Powermatic, and he allowed me to do a little bit of turning on it, get a feel for it, showed me how it worked, walked me through it. Uh, so I bought the lathe. In addition, I met another friend through Instagram. If you don't follow him, check him out. Garnered Wood uh, does some amazing wood turning, but I met him. Because uh, he doesn't live too awfully far from me, so we did a blank exchange. So he gave me a whole bunch of wood blanks right here and some pieces I can cut up. And I gave him some pieces of some of that elm tree that I got uh, from my good friend's neighbor. So we had a good ch exchange there. Uh, and I look forward to seeing what he makes out of that and what I can make out of this. Um, so a couple of upgrades, a couple of things with this lathe that I'm super excited about is the old lathe, which was a great lathe to start with. It worked wonders for me for the time I had it. Um, it was, everything was manual. So it was changing the, I had to stop the engine, the motor to switch it from pulley to pulley to make sure we got the right um, speeds, etc. So it had a limitation of five speeds. This lathe has only two pulleys, as you can see here. And what we have going on with that is that you're going to switch between whichever speed you need to for the appropriate speed range you want to go. Uh, from there you have a nice little dial that you can utilize to change the speed as it's going from slower to faster. And this range, it says a low speed of 50 RPM. The lowest I was able to get it down to when, uh, at the gentleman's house where I bought it was 64 RPM. But that's going to be plenty of slow for me to do what I want to do. Uh, and of course the speeds, the top end speeds of either 1200 or 3200 depending on the gearing uh, is going to be perfect for what I need to do as well, be it pins, bowls, what have you. Um, <clears throat> so this is all set up and ready to go except that it's a 240 volt system, which I don't have. So my good friend is coming over here a little bit later on this evening. We're going to get this wired up. Um, so then I'll have power to it and be able to start turning my new project, which if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, then I gave you a little clue as to what my next big project is. So I'm looking forward to unveiling that once I get to that point. It might be a few weeks, but I am looking forward to that. So this is the big news for this. The other thing is, is that I'm going to be taking next weekend off. So we won't have a video for next weekend. We're just going to have this one, and then it's going to be a two weeks before I'm ready for the next video posting. The reason for that is it is my 20th anniversary. My wonderful wife has put up with me for 20 long years, as uh, I'm sure she would say. Uh, but it's been a good 20 years. been great. Uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, but I had to share my new upgrade there and let you all know what's happening. So, with that being said, I am definitely looking forward to getting back into the swing of things with the lathe, get back to work, and uh, turning once again. So, I'll put up some shots at the end, kind of comparing my lathe, my old one, to this one, so you can see a size difference. Um, this one will turn 16-inch diameter items unless I move the motor down all the way to the end. So, I could loosen this, move it all the way to the end, and then I can turn things out side of the bed, much larger. Um, my other lathe was a maximum of 10 inches. So there's a, there's a pretty big step up right there. I'm super excited to give it a try, especially with some of these blanks that I got from Garnered Wood. Like I said, check him out on Instagram if you don't follow him. Um, he does some amazing work. He has a great Etsy store as well. So check him out over there. Uh, I've also been in communication with Deadwood Casting and Turning. So check him out on YouTube, check him out on Instagram as well. He has a Facebook page. Uh, he does some really good work. He's going to be sending me some mica powder to try out in, in a future resin project. So I'm looking forward to that. Been kind of working with him and talking with him through different things and bouncing ideas off each other. So 
definitely check those two out. I'll put links to their Instagram accounts down below. And uh, when you go over, tell them hi. Tell them that uh, Double D at Tournage Dubois said hi and sent you that way. And uh, I will look forward to talking with you all in just a couple of weeks. So uh, once again, like I said, I'll be putting up some pictures. Thanks for sticking with me through the video. And uh, to each and all of you out there, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, I please encourage you to do so. Just click on the link just down below the video here. Click on that bell icon. You'll get the notifications when a new video posts. And I look forward to catching you in just a couple of weeks. Until then, just keep on turning.